Welcome back, Deadites and Ghost Beaters. And if you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming. And a few days ago, I think like two or three, I asked if you wanted me to do an AMA video with everything going on. We had an awesome chat session that basically I ended stream and then we basically talked for 45 minutes about everything going on in the Evil Dead universe. And I gave you guys a chance to ask me questions. I'm going to pull six questions out of that and answer them right on this video. And then the next 30 questions, I will answer them. Of course, they can be pretty much anything. If you want to know stuff about Evil Dead, ask that. If you want to know stuff about me, ask that too. But like, keep it like not super creepy. Like, where do I live? Excellent. I don't need anyone hiding in my bushes. You know, that's just kind of creepy. But anything else you want to know, I'm more than willing. I'm an open book, as you probably have known for the years you followed me. But here we go. Question one. The first question is from Got Red on you. I voted yes, so I'll ask you, how has your channel grown since the launch of Evil Dead the game? Do you have any standout moments of playing, sharing ED content with your community? Personally, I'm glad to stumble upon your channel because of the game. You put out great content, grateful to see, till the wheels fall off, my friend. Awesome comment from Got Red on you. And so Red, yes, my channel has grown a lot since Evil Dead the game. Before I did Evil Dead, I did a lot of Avengers content and I was mostly just on Twitch. And I did a video called uh, Jason Voorhees is going to come to Evil Dead over DVD. And that was the first real big video on this channel about 15 months ago. Um, and it was kind of where I started and decided I was just gonna you know, focus more on horror and Evil Dead content. Uh, I've had a lot of great time playing with the people in the community and I'll still be doing it tonight, as always. I will be playing this game until the wheels fall off. Are you a cop? <laughs> no, dude. I uh, uh, whoa. Yeah. Solidarity to the wheels fall off. But when I first did that video for uh, Jason Voorhees for Evil Dead, I had about 75 subs, and now here we are pushing 1,700. We got a couple more to go. The next question is from Alex Watts. When do you think the new update will come out, if it does, and who, what do you think it will be? Personally, I would love to see the four Lindas come to the game from each of the movies and show the similar to how the four Ashes are. I think that's really cool. I'd love to see the Lindas. I don't see it happening. I honestly think we probably get two more updates. The first one will probably be Evil Dead Rise, which will contain both Beth and Ellie. And then we'll get one more Ash versus Evil Dead chapter, probably with Chet, maybe Brandy. And then, of course, probably Abomination because she was just supposed to come with the 2013 update, but was late. Uh, so I think we probably see that. The next one is from J Money. The is this the end video? Seems to have had some serious reactions from people in the comments, and I was wondering how your community is taken to the video. So actually, it's been kind of surprising. Most of it has been overwhelmingly pretty much positive, uh, but there is a couple of people who have unsubbed from that video. I don't know if that was just because they felt like I was bashing the game or that I was leaving the game. I don't know, but I haven't gone anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I feel like most of the people have felt pretty much the same as I have, that there is bad signs, and the video was meant not to be like, the, the sky is falling. I wasn't trying to be chicken little or anything, but it was designed to show you that, hey, there is some really big cracks in the foundation, and this could be the end. Luckman has asked question four. Is this the end of you, Saiyan Saber? With Beerus voice. I can't really do a Beerus voice, but uh, here's a picture of Beerus. But I think uh, Saber really burned a lot of bridges, and if they do abandon this game, I feel like a lot of people who love this game will never buy a Saber game again. And I feel like this is a really bad time to abandon content if they choose to do that, with the fact that Dead by Daylight has just found a new gear out of nowhere. Uh, everyone was kind of really down and kind of scared for the anniversary update, and then they dropped this fat-ass roadmap that's including multiple licensed killers and Nicolas Cage. And then Texas Chainsaw has a lot of hype right now. We're going to have the tech test coming this Thursday. They've announced they're going to do additional tech tests, so we're probably going to get one a month until the launch. And, you know, people are really excited about these ASIMs, and Evil Dead is kind of shrinking back into the shadows, which is a really bad place for it. The next question comes from Azul Kezo. What is your favorite character from the Evil Dead lore, past, present, new film? What could be done by Saber to save the game, in your opinion? Okay, let's handle these as different questions. First, who is my favorite character from the Evil Dead universe? Oof, that's a tough question. Um, I'm gonna ignore the comics because there's a lot of really good characters from the comics and just focus on movies and TV show. And my favorite character from the 
TV movie universe would probably be Ash. I mean, Ash is pretty classic, but like if it's not Ash, I have a really close second for for Chet. Chet, for some reason, really connected with me. Um, and I feel like a lot of people felt that way, that, that Chet was just that character you kind of all knew growing up, and he was like that best friend, but he was just an absolute moron, but you loved him anyway. Uh, so those would be my two for the movies and, 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 and series. Um, I love the new film. Nothing but great things to say about it, and I feel like it's a bright future for Evil Dead as a film franchise. Uh, what can be done by Saber to save the game? The Saber, Saber should not be in trouble. Like this game had so much potential and should have made tons of money, but they avoided it like the plague. And I had been calling for an S Mart since well day one, and I don't know why they didn't do it. I know they say that you know they're great to work with on the all the license holders, but apparently they just didn't want to you know come to them that often because there were so many original skins they could have made that would have made people happy. The next comment comes from Comet News. What is your opinion on Year One DLC? I mean, the Year One DLC was solid. Like, other than not getting a map, I think the DLC was really good. Um, but I mean, we had six chapter updates from the start to the anniversary, basically, and, and like that's a decent amount of content. But now it just seems like they're kind of like, well, well, that's the end. The next one comes from Matthew Stewart. Do you think this game is salvageable if they have year like they did with year one? Me thinks no. I honestly think if they decide to try to make money, the game is very salvageable. You have a diehard fan base who really want to give you money. Like I did a video called Saber, Shut Up and Take My Money, and it was really the perfect example of what the problem is with this game and what my concerns were. Um, the game dropped some really good content, a lot of fun, should definitely not be in the situation it is right now. And the last question we'll do from, from the comments is Scarface asks, how am I doing? I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I think we are definitely a channel that is on the upswing and I thanks only to you guys. You guys are awesome. I love all the comments I get from every one of you all the time on videos. I try to answer every comment I can. Uh, I know sometimes just because it doesn't get pushed to me for some reason, I miss some and I apologize for that. But one of the things I've always prided myself on this channel is answering every question or comment or anything I can. And that's why I thought this video would be a lot of fun because, like I said, the next 30 questions I will answer with whatever you want to know. So ask away. I'm excited to see what you want to know. I'm excited to talk about everything. And yes, we still will be playing Evil Dead twice a week. Um, hopefully we get into the Texas Chainsaw uh, Tech Test this week and that will be some new content for you guys to see on what is coming on the hottest new ASIM hitting this August 18th. As always, thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to your comments and later, mates.